Hey everybody, it's Kate. So I thought today um, I might just start up a, an impromptu video series. I thought I'd call it Planner Happy Hour. <laughs> so basically the point is to have a cocktail and chat about planners because um, that's basically one of my favorite subjects and if you've landed on this channel it probably is one of yours too so I would invite you to grab a cocktail and um, come along basically I am having yet another um, what is this called oh uh, pink grapefruit martini if I had any sense I'd cut up a little grapefruit and put it in there because you know fruit that's been soaked in vodka is delicious anyway so yeah so in the last week um or maybe two weeks i've gotten some stuff that i'm like really enjoying so i wanted to show y'all um the first is this and there's another one i wonder where i put it um over here uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so these are the, y'all know what these are, L-E-U-C-H-T-T-U-R-M or R-U-M, Lectrum 1917, I'm not saying that right, it's a German word and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's okay though, because I don't know anybody else that does either. Um, so, I bought this gray one just to try it out. And it turns out I absolutely loved it. I love the paper. Um, I love the way pens and pencils work on it. Um, these are just uh, the squares. So each page has a place for a date and then it's also numbered. And then the very beginning of the book, ooh, Lord, I may have just showed you one of my patterns. Um, there's a table of contents, so I've been using that and loving it. And so I had originally gotten this. <clears throat> I hate these ribbons. I hate them. I'm going to chop them off. I just hadn't done it yet. I, I don't know. They're just, I don't even know if they've burnt the ends to keep them from raveling. They're awful. I mean, they're ugly and they don't, they feel, uh, whatever. I'm cutting them off. I'm chopping them off. Anyway, <clears throat> so... I bought this first one because I wanted to bullet journal, but then I was doing some pattern development for um, some wallet inserts I'm going to be releasing, and I thought, you know, because I always sort of develop patterns on the fly, and then I end up with a bunch of random pieces of paper that aren't numbered and aren't, uh, like if somebody came behind me and tried to follow them, including myself, I probably couldn't do it. So I was like, why don't you... <laughs> put them all in one place and then you can have them and you can keep your measurements and everything so that's what I've done um, is put my patterns in here so obviously I can't show you those but I think it's a large enough book because each pattern for me takes like one spread and so there's plenty of room in here to add ton see this is what this little papers that are sticking out that's a pattern like I can't no it doesn't work I mean so I was like okay well I want one for bullet journaling too because that was what this was originally for so I went on Amazon and some shit happened or whatever and it fell in my cart so I got a pink one um, so this one I am actually going to use as a bullet journal and I went ahead and started writing in it immediately because I have some blank page fear so I just hurried up and wrote some stuff in it right quick and then I skipped I skipped a page, I don't know why, and then I made my first bullet journal spread. So I was total like shit mood. Let me zoom in a little bit and show y'all. So I was in a totally shit mood. So it says shit, it's November already. And then the 21st or the 27th I'm on here and it says shit on Monday. And I like didn't even make a box to write anything on Monday because you know, shit on Monday. And then shitty Tuesday and then shit work Wednesday. 
because uh, <laughs> that's what I'm going to have to do Wednesday. But then I'm off for the rest of the week. Uh, and so this says, holy shits, Thanksgiving. Uh, and it's a little dotted line that leads to a box that says, shits I don't give. Um, I don't much give a shit for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm just going to be perfectly honest. I'm not into it this year. And the funny part is I'm actually hosting. So it kind of sucks. But, I mean... What you gonna do? So I thought this was cute, and then it says Black Friday shit, yeah, shit. It's finally Saturday, and playing some shit Sunday. And then I've got uh, shits I don't give. I showed you that already, and then a quote or some shits. And it, the quote is, uh, <laughs> see if I can do this. No, I can't because the book's too, <laughs> the book's too short for the camera. It says. If the shit fits, wear it. Scoot over, goddammit. Uh, from Donald Duck Dunn. If anybody knows what movie that's from, leave me a comment and let me know. I'll send you a free $10 shop credit. Anyway, uh, and so the next column is shits to do. And then I accidentally skipped two boxes here instead of one. So I wrote shitty shit, shit, shitty shit, shit. Shits to buy and next week's shits. And here's Salty Sadie rolling her eyes and it says, like I give a shit. Isn't that cute? So, <laughs> the point of it was, let me back the camera out a little bit. You know, I was having a crappy day and I did this spread and it improved my mood. It made me laugh a little bit and really you can't, you can't really ask for much more than that. And so here's the start of another spread. <clears throat> but I'm super stoked about it. Um, like I started a pen tester here in the back. It says pen Joe. And then something else back here. Oh, I put me some uh, post-it notes back here and then some spread ideas. Like I want to try a smart goals spread, which is uh, specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and time-based goals, which I may do that and share. And then I might do an all-black spread. Anyway, and then here is um, this little, it's like a bullet journal cheater chart cheater chart <laughs> cheater chart from uh, the bullet journal guy I mean uh, what is his name I thought it was on here Ryder Carroll so he was the guy that actually started bullet journals um, and it's called bullet journal quick reference guide I'm sure if you just search that um, you can find it and then these journals also come with a little pocket in the back which I enjoy so this I'm going to tip in I just hadn't done it yet Anyway, yeah, so these sh sh shitty ass ribbons, I don't care for these. Anyway, so there's that. Enough about that. I love those. Super stoked. Oh, the other thing, the other reason I originally bought these is because I'm going to make covers for them um, and list them for the shop. Um, I get questions constantly in the shop. Do you have this size? Do you have that size? Can you make this and that size? Can you make this and that size? So as of January 1st, the entire shop is going to go totally uh, custom. Like currently it's a ready to ship shop. If you see something listed up there, it's ready. Uh, and I will ship it probably the next day. Let me say I try my dead level best unless I'm like super deadly sick to ship next day. And that includes sticker orders. Anyway, <clears throat> So, but I get people contacting me constantly about all, what kind of different covers I'll make. And so I bought these um, to make some covers. So start watching the shop. As of January 1st, I'm going to have as many patterns out there as, as I can in terms of sizes. Like if you want a faux dory that's a pocket wide, it'll be there. If you need one that's a regular pocket size, it'll be there. If you need a personal size, if you need an A5, whatever you need, it'll be there. And you can just custom order it. Like you can pick your fabric, pick your elastics, pick your add-ons, pick a folder, pick a dashboard, pick, 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 whatever you want, I'll make it for you and send it just for you. So that was the other reason for getting these because I'm going to make some super cute little covers. I'm excited about that. Like I'm going to place a new fabric order probably next week. Um, and the more orders I get on Black Friday, the more fabric I'll buy. So woohoo! I love fabric. Um, and then here's this little turd here. This is the mini happy planner. It's actually super cute. Um, it's horizontal if you didn't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. I mean, I kind of, 
I enjoy the size actually. I mean it has the feel of like an art planner but it, it feels more like a personal size art planner which I enjoy. Um, I can put it up next to you. Like here's, so here's a personal size um, traveler's notebook and here's a pocket wide um, traveler's notebook. So you can see how it's, you know, like about that size, which I like better than, let's say, here it is next to an ECLP. Let me see how much bigger this one is. Um, so yeah, it's <laughs> little turds actually pretty cute. Like I feel like it's got the best of both worlds. Like it's kind of got enough space to write, at least on the monthly, um, without being huge. So you totally throw this in your bag, although I wouldn't do it without a cover. Um, so that's another reason. Let me just give you a little, you've probably already seen these close up, but let me just do you a little close up here so you can see. So there's January, there's the month, and I guess there's a little space for notes here, and then here's what a week looks like. A little horizontal with a little thingy that says thankful for and a little notes here. Cute, huh? So, um, yeah, because I had somebody message me <clears throat> last week, and they're like, can you make a cover for this? And I was like, I don't have a pattern for it yet. But, I mean, the more people that find my shop, the more of them send me a message and say, can you make this size, can you make that size? Yes, I can, and I will. I would already be doing it if I didn't have to work full time. Um, so, here's another thing. That'll be another thing coming to the shop. Um, there should be covers available for everything that I can manage to make a pattern for in between now and January 1. So, that'll be the ECLPs, the Erin Condren Life Planners. Um, that'll be... Uh, at least one or two sizes of Happy Planner, um, the bullet journals, uh, I'll have sizes for the May Designs notebooks. What size are those? Those are like 8x5 or something? I don't particularly like that size, but other people do, so I'll make you a cover for it. Anyway, so yeah, I thought that was actually pretty cute. Like, what I may need to do, you know what I should do? is uh, make the pattern for the cover and then give away the cover in a in this little planner. Wouldn't that be cute? That'd be a fun little group giveaway. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, go ahead over there and join. It's fun in there. We curse and stuff. Okay? Okay. Um, what else? Oh, pins. Okay, so um, I, since I, of course, since I fell off on the bullet journaling thing, I had to have a Coletto because that's all I hear about. And I ended up getting this really pretty pink one. Uh, it says Pilot High Tech C Coletto. Isn't it pretty? It's like pink and clear. Let me see if the camera will focus on it. I can't tell if it's focused or not. I've been drinking. Anyway, um, so I bought it with this. Uh, refill pack and I bought it with the 0 0.4 um, as the refill size and it came as like a like a value pack on Amazon and so the pricing was pretty reasonable for it um, and they have like blue the pink and what I was actually really impressed with is the colors that came in the refill pack like red like navy blue regular blue, like grass green, but then they also had purple, this pretty light blue, black, this like orange yellow, and a pink. So I was pretty impressed with this and I love the way it writes. Let me see, I've got my little pen tester in here. I could probably show you at least one of the colors. <clears throat> Let's see, Papermate Zebra, yeah. Here's how it writes. The Pilot High Tech C Coletto 0.4. So there's that light blue. It's really pretty though, isn't it? I like it. I was pretty impressed with it. And I was pretty impressed with the like orange ink because it shows up really well. Like sometimes when you get an orange ink pen, it doesn't show up on the paper good. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I got a couple of these um, Sakura Jelly Roll pens. They carry them at the Michaels if you have a Michaels near you and I absolutely love them go get you some they're so cute it's like if you're at work and if you could use one of these little pens to write down some mundane shit you have to do it makes it more fun so I got a couple of those <clears throat> oh okay let's do planner clips okay so <laughs> my favorite planner clips lately have been from 
um, Little Miss Daisy Rose. Ooh, there's a random hair in there. Excuse me, y'all. Look how cute. This one's probably my all-time favorite still. It's the Glitter Poop. Let's see if the camera will focus. Glitter Poop. Come on, focus, camera. Y'all need to see the Glitter Poop. Ooh, look how cute. So it's like glitter vinyl. Let me see what else I've got. Oh, I've got a little margarita and a fox and a little coffee and I guess this is some kind of mint coffee or something got that for the holidays and you <laughs> look at this little silhouette how cute so and little miss her okay her name is little miss daisy rose on etsy and her shop is like super popular so what you kind of have to do to get her clips when she close she'll close and then she'll open back up and when she does you have to be like on that uh, because just as soon like let's say you scroll through the first page of her shop and maybe you add a couple a couple of these little clips to your cart if you go back and scroll the first page again it will have changed order by the time you get back because people have purchased and her listings are renewing so you have to be on the ball to get what you want um and so when she opens back up i always order um because I just absolutely love her little clips. They are so much fun, y'all. Uh, and still, my favorite is the little poop clip. And I got a little flamingo. Isn't that so cute? And then this is stupid, but oh, where's my um? I have a little turkey leg with a bite taken out of it, but I don't know what I did with it. I must have put it somewhere. That's a little pumpkin pie. Let me look right quick, y'all. I can't find it. I, I would totally show y'all that if I could find it. I'll show it in another video. It's the cutest thing ever. I don't even eat pumpkin pie, but like hers is one of those shops where you get in there and you're like, I have to have everything right now. And so you end up ordering stuff <laughs> that's cute, but you can't use. Yeah, so whatever. Little Miss Daisy Rose on Etsy. Favorite. Okay, what else? Oh, these pencils. Okay, so, um, it, since I do like pattern writing and all that stuff, I use these pencils. This is called a Twist Erase 0.7. That's the size of the lid um, from Pentel. And you can get them at Hobby Lobby. And it comes in just a package of one. And you twist the eraser up. And the eraser is like really good quality. It actually does erase the lid. And then it's got like super nice lid to come with it too. I actually have two of these. And so I use one of them. Let me see if I can get it to. Probably not. I wonder if I touch the screen if it'll focus. No, absolutely not. Sorry, y'all. Still learning. Um, what else? Okay. Oh, yeah. These are pretty cute. Okay. So, look at this little turd, would you? Isn't it cute? It's a uh, four-pocket, pocket-sized uh, traveler's notebook folder. Isn't that cute? So it has the little pockets. So I was thinking about releasing these for Black Friday, but I'm running out of time. So if I have some made, I may sneak them into um, some of the first orders that, that come in on Black Friday, just as a little treat. Um, Cause these little turds are cute. This is some of my favorite scrapbook paper ever. Cause it really looks like bokeh. Isn't it pretty? Ugh. Okay. And on the inside, it's little mason jars. You see that? And so there's a big pocket back here and then the little pockets in the front and it just slides in with the rest of your inserts. So cute. Oh yeah, okay, speaking of inserts. And then also I'm releasing for Black Friday some new Traveler's Notebook sticker kits. And so you've seen my stickers before. <laughs> this is actually new for Black Friday and it's called um, Salty Sadie Takes It to the House. So she just picks up her martini and just downs it, right? Is that not? I mean, that's what New Year's is about. Isn't it? <laughs> so there's Salty Sadie. Of course, she comes in like six different skin tones. And so I did a couple of little sticker kits for it. So Salty Sadie does New Year's is what it's called. And so here she is, the weekend, little feather, and it says, nice try, Satan. And then we just got sort of your typical stickers in a 2017 do shit, buy shit next week, next year, that kind of thing. So this is real pretty like rose gold and wood grain and all like that and then Salty Sadie. So that's a personal size that'll be out on Black Friday. And then here is, no, 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 that was pocket, pocket, 
personal. Let me lay them down so you can see. There you go. Pocket personal. And so here's the personal kit. It's just got a few more stickers in it. I put some of these damn icon stickers that everybody else seems to love, but I don't. I can't stand these. I don't like them. Uh, but I put some because other people do. And um, then there's Sadie taking it to the house again. Let me see if I have some other skin tones here so you can see. Come on, camera. There we go. So that's kind of a medium skin tone there. Redhead. Blonde. And she's wearing... Uh, little glitter like a glitter bustier and she's got a little glitter clip in her hair and she's wearing some big glitter uh, big glitter earrings like um, like that one lady from the Sopranos used to wear you know what I'm talking about yeah so that's super cute uh, what else sticker kits oh so um, two, two exciting things about the shop so like I said, I, um, I'm going to move to custom. Um, so part of that is going to be, I'm changing up my faux dory uh, pattern a little bit. Um, this is a pocket wide. So um, I've changed to where I put the elastic in the middle now. And then these wides will have six elastics. Four holes equals six elastics. So there's that. Here's a little charm. Super cute. Um, it will also have, here's one pocket here, a second pocket in the back, uh, and then like I said, the six elastics. And then I think I'm going to start making these for sale as well. These little three, these little divider. What do y'all think? Do y'all like that? Would y'all use that? Um, let me know. But the only thing is it's kind of aggravating. It, I feel like the lamination is stiff. Like I used a 5 mil and that was like way too stiff. Like this one I used a 5 mil, way too stiff. I mean, I can't, you can't do anything with that. So I ordered some 3 mil and it still feels pretty, like maybe I need to work it some more. It's still kind of stiff, but it's so stinking cute. And, um, yeah, so two pockets, elastic in the middle, six elastics. So you can see I've got, um, let's see, one and a dashboard, a folder, another full insert, another insert with a trifold dashboard, another folder, another insert in there. There's some used stickers, sticker kit. Um, that's what it looks like. This is a tester. That's what it looks like actually in the insert. Uh, another folder. Um, and I'm thinking about selling these little dashboards too. Look how cute that is. Like put a little something like I colored this with Copic markers forever ago. And then here's another insert. So plenty of inserts and there's still plenty of room. Plenty of room. Um, I make my faux dories already. Even if they're not in a wide size, they are roomy because I can't stand overhang. I hate that. I do not want... Like, I love a chunky book, but I don't want it bulging out. That's, I don't like that. So, one of these, I've already got one made. If I can get any more made, I will. This one's mine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, and that's the only reason I do that whole Etsy thing is so I can have all the faux dories. Anyway, um, so one of those, I got one of those ready to go, and I'll list that Black Friday as well, but this one's mine. And what else? Oh, okay. The other thing are these. So these are wallet inserts, um, and they're like, you know, of course, they're like fully lined, and they've got my little, um, they got my little tag in there, can you see? Yeah. Um, so these are some that I'm going to list on Black Friday. So here's a pocket size, another pocket size, see they're just uh, normal on the back, but it comes with a pin loop and two, you know, thingies. And then I'm going to have some charm add-ons, so this is an example of a silver wing charm. But then you can also get the sewn charm, if it'll focus. There it goes, sewn charm. And then another gold wing charm. So these two are pocket size, super cute. Woo woo! Um, this one is personal size. I think there's just one of these available. Yeah, just one of this fabric. So this one will come pocket. So here's the difference between a pocket and a personal, so you can see the difference. Um, and if you're carrying a pocket, like a standard size pocket, not a wide, then you would want to put this underneath all your inserts. 
just pick up your inserts and stick it up underneath there so that it wraps all the way around all of them. Now if you're carrying a pocket wide, you could just stick it around one or two inserts, if that makes sense. And then here's, yeah, this personal size. And then I've got another little purple fox personal size. And this one, this little real pretty unicorn fabric in a personal size. I think I showed this in a setup video. Um, I redesigned just a little touch since then, but the personal slots have five card pockets and um, the little pocket size have four. So that's about as many as I had time to get made uh, before Black Friday hit because I've got to have time to take and edit the photos and get the listings up too. Like I can't just make all day. Although me and Ladybird Ladybird is the name of my humongous uh, commercial sewing machine. Me and Ladybird worked our ass off yesterday. I'm not even going to lie. Like it took forever. Okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have interesting to say. Probably not. It's Sunday. I'm tired. I'm working my ass off all weekend. But I love it. I'm going to love it. I'm not really complaining. I love it. So, yeah. Um, I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment and let me know about any new shit you found. Like new planner shit that's fun. I love to hear about that stuff. Um, if you have any particular YouTube channels that you like, let me know. I love planner videos. But I think some of my favorites are really like Traveler's Notebook setup videos and like planner chat, you know, like, and planner favorites. Oh, I love planner favorites. So if you have any channels that you like to watch, like for planner favorites or whatever, let me know. Um, I'm trying things or anything else I want to tell you. I don't know, but if you have any suggestions for me in terms of what you want to see in the shop, let me know that too. Um, I'm always open to suggestions and whatnot. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So, yeehaw! Oh, and if you have any particular shops that you're going to shop on Black Friday that you might want to share that information with a sister, I'd appreciate it. Anybody you know that's having good sales, I'm having a sale, of course, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to shop for myself. I am definitely going to shop. So let me know who's having the good sales. I'm going to check it out because um, I have been busting my ass and uh, to get my shop ready for Black Friday. And so now I'm going to turn around and shop all the other shop owners <laughs> for their Black Friday stuff. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you want to see more, like, planner happy hour, okay? I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you're having an awesome weekend. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. I totally appreciate it. Come check out the shop. Come, come see me on Facebook. Come find me on Instagram. And thanks. Bye.